how how frustrating was this season for you from a just role fluctuation standpoint? Um, frustrating wouldn't be the word I'd use to describe it. You know, it's a journey, uh, just like any other journey. It's gonna be highs and lows. It's gonna be adversity. So, um, you know, just perspective, dealing with everything. Do you feel? Like you, you kind of know what your role is with this team and, and into the future, or is this something you kind of need to figure out this summer still, like where you fit in on this team? Um, you know, yeah, figure, figuring out what it is in the future, what it's been, yeah, that's something that's still um, got to got to figure out, yeah. How much would you would you I mean not necessarily I'll guarantee a roster spot or anything like that or a rotation spot but I mean how much do you view your four cities and needing to be somewhere where you know you are playing on a nightly basis? Um, you know, just with this being such a competitive and difficult job, you can't really predict the future. You can't be promised too much in this game. So uh, just. Giving yourself the best chance would be the uh, best route to go. Moses, could you uh, talk about what playing with Clay and watching Clay has has meant to you or or done for you? Thanks. Yeah, it's been uh, Clay, somebody I've been watching since I was a kid, since I was young. Uh, so then to be able to grow up watching him and then be in the locker room with him, chilling on the boat with him. You know, he's a really, really solid dude. And uh, you, you can learn a lot from somebody like that. Moses, um, what obviously last night was disappointing in a team context. How much do you feel like, I mean, you, you, seem, you seem very ready for the moment. You know, it was a big game. And, and as you've shown before, you're, you were ready for it. But how much did you sort of, how important is it that 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 was sort of the parting image and that you sort of reminded the team, the fans, whatever, that, that you're ready to sort of contribute at that level? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's kind of been the storyline all year, you know, not knowing what the how much playing time I'm going to get. Like, I wasn't in the rotation going into the game. Yeah, I get called on and perform. That's, um, so, I mean, it's just more of the same kind of uh, – you know, glad to be able to do it at that on that stage at that time, um, but yeah, it's just been part of the part of the journey so far. In your conversations with the coaches today and in general, what was kind of the message that they had for you in terms of what you need to improve this summer and, and what you need to improve to to get that you know consistent role? Um, you know, becoming. Uh, and getting the shot off faster or something that was that was said. Um, you know, really, a lot of it is situational. I feel like so, just being able to get that consistent time, being having a defined role, and knowing what that is, and understanding that, will, I think, be the biggest part. How good do you feel about your game overall, though? Yeah. Exiting year three. Yeah, I feel really good about it. You know, uh, if I get to listen to other people, then you can kind of feel like it's a cycle to where, like, oh, you you don't play, you play good, you don't play. And, uh, but that's kind of that, – that, that can be frustrating if you look at it, looking at it like that, but that's through other people's lens. Uh, I've done something myself that to where I no, don't really look at things through other people's perspective and understand it for myself and see the growth that I've made each year. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of time in the G League my first year and not a lot of time on the court, um, stretches of not playing well. Uh, ne the next year, I went to the G twice, um, had some really good stretches early on and later later on, although like in the middle, I kind of let the situation um, stifle me to a, to, a, to a point to where I wasn't as confident in, in what I had going on, but it was still... Uh, I was able to figure out and get through it. So that was a good year. But then this year, I feel like I was solid all the way through. You know, the situation was what it was at times to, to, with things I can't control. But whenever I got the opportunity to play, I feel like I played well. Um, had I figured some things out throughout the season that made me uh, better and more consistent later on. Um, but mentally, I feel like this is the best that I've been so far and physically on the court. Uh, you know, I've scored more uh, percentages or whatever. Uh, been solid, so um, 
just know, just realizing that for myself and realizing that there is has been progress and uh, not being listening to everybody else and thinking that it's that I'm that I'm running on the treadmill. How would you uh, describe your experience with Chris Paul, maybe compared to your preseason expectations of being teammates with him? Yeah, uh, Chris is another guy that I've been watching longer than I've been watching Clay. Uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, you're playing on the video video game with him, and you always hear so many good things about Chris Paul and the person that he is and the teammate that he is from other people. But it's different when you get the opportunity to experience it for yourself. Uh, when it comes to teaching you the game, talking about the game, you always want to talk about basketball, but not even just that. Yeah, you know, he was on the boat too, just kicking it, talking about whatever. Uh, the stuff he's got going on with his own foundation and his. Um, his business ventures, he's got so much things going on that I could learn from and he's never slow to reach out and teach. So, uh, you know, he had the thing where he was talking about me, the being able to deal with adversity or whatever it was, but I think that's just a case of real recognized real. You know, he, I feel like uh, not all celebrities, not all play Hall of Famers could deal with uh, – having a lesser role, having like I feel like if Chris Paul was in my situation, he would be able to deal with it too. And that's that's not that's not something you could say about every Hall of Famer. Uh just the mental that he has. He's he's has to take he has to take a uh a, a a lesser role this year for this team too. You know, that's uh that's it had to be challenging on it, had to be tough on him. But the person that he was every day walking into work was professional. Um, you know, he he was able to make the best out of it. So I got a lot of respect for Chris. What was going on on the boat? Like, what was happening? <laughs> um, it was really just going to work. You know, we had a game that day, so we we uh, we went over to Oakland, uh, got on the boat with Clay. He showed us how to he showed us how to drive it. But we was really just chilling, uh, embracing the open sea. Are, are you a boat guy? I am now. Uh, <laughs> uh, just big picture. How, how do you want to remember this season? Um. The biggest thing that I take from this season is the team. Like, this was a special team um, through and through from uh, from Corey Joe to Jerome, uh, Loon, Steph, Kate. Like, everybody had so many different situations going on. We uh, It was just the, the, the atmosphere that we had every day in practice, on the bus, at dinners. Like, it was just a really good group of – young men together, uh, striving for a goal, having adversity, have going, you know, if you, if, it was, if you had this, a great group of people and y'all were just uh, sitting in a room every day and you don't really get to experience how good of people that you're dealing with, but when you're going through adversity and things get hard, times get hard, y'all get tired of each other and the way that people combat adversity, you can watch and take things from other people like, we went through a whole journey together and with solid dudes, so that's what I'll take from this year. Uh, that's why, I, I mean, you know, it didn't turn out the way we wanted to, but it even felt like this could have been a special year just because of that.